name is Senator Hassan Mohamed Gusso. Uh, by title, I'm German Gusso, and uh, I represent Zampara Central. You see, as a politician, as an elected uh, senator, you must have a mandate. And again, you will be put in, you just have to uh, think, uh, by the way, I'm I made some promises. Uh, during my campaign uh, last year, I told my people that January 2007-2011, by the time I was elected then, I tried to promote health sector. That is the reason why I expanded more than 1.4 billion into the medical center here in Guso. If you can remember, every senator used to have his constituency project every year. I tried to get my constituency uh, money, and uh, which uh, been expanded to Perry Medical Center. All my money has been expanded there, and I'm happy that Perry Medical Center has come to reality now. People from Zulmi, people from Gumi, they come to enjoy that place. Now, as I'm telling you, they are digging 27 hand pumps across poor local government. That's my senatorial zone. And again, go so embarrassed here. They are constructing five solar bowl, big tanks, which, alhamdulillah, we already uh, succeeded because they have punched and everywhere they have water. What remains now? Installation. After water, you just have to think about youth. You can see somebody with degree, BSc, NCE, no job. So for you as an elected person, you have to think twice. I said, okay, if that should be the case, let me see how I can empower the youth, not necessarily on em employment. I thought of bringing seven projects, that is seven plates. Those skills can be taught to any one of them. So that's what made me to bring 350 youth. We spent about 40 days training them. When you train a youth, that's not the end of it. You have to think that knowledge, that skills they have, how are they going to cope with it? A lot of poverty all around. So you have to empower them also. That's why I decided to say, okay, whatever trade you have, you must have a tools and instrument of that trade. So you can see by yourself, last three days, over 100 tailor, uh, uh, computers, Bible materials, salon materials, interior decoration. They are so happy. So those three of 350, if by January, February again, I can get 350, before the end of the tenure, how many can we achieve? So that's what made me too. And to empower women being now is better than anything. See, uh, each trade has its own facility to with supervisors. So these facilitators are the ones to train them. After they train them, the supervisors, together with the facilitator, will cross-check and see, is there any utilization? Before the ceremony, most of them have even incurred shops for the adoption of the job. The women that are married, they organize a small cubicle in their house for the hairdressing. So if a husband will be free from any stress, herself also will be, will be very busy. So that is the importance of it. You see, the governor is my lifetime friend. We have been commissioners together. We have been legislators together. I have been a party chairman for five years while he has been a, a candidate. So we interpret every, in all, all aspects. And again, his family, my family are always one. So we are just like family. So uh, there is no way I can achieve without his support. He always tried to encourage me. He always tried to guide me. We are brothers. I guide him. Sometimes he guide me. He don't reject my advice whatsoever. That's why I was so impressed. Being a party chairman, I handed the ticket to him, which he handed the ticket of senator to me, and we all won. So you see, when he achieved, I achieved. When I achieved, he achieved. So I'm telling you, as I have seen him doing, as I observe, he's doing perfectly well. 
That's why at that time I started with all achievement he had. I'm, this is my constraint. This is my zone. The money is expanding in my zone. He didn't expand it in his own zone. Let's talk about airport. Airport has been done here in Kusum. Government house. See how it is being republished. You see how in Guso. How many roads is he undertaking in Guso? The student being employed. Some are within the state, but more are in Guso. I know even though we have a lot of bot, we have more than 30,000 bot, 35,000 bot. But now notwithstanding, the concern is there. Because others were here and they didn't search that concern. So to me, I can say, Papa Clay will put him his, his excellency and more grace to his level. And I am sure, I'm sure more dependent are coming from him by the way I'm gonna, I saw him handling. Because somebody that is listening, whenever you have a good leader who can listen, I'm sure a lot of some will be done. And he always try to, to see us near him. We always guide him and he always accept the guidance. So to me, I can say Alhamdulillah. Thank you.